we're given a lot of information about a curve and we'll go through each of these components piece by piece especially the parts that we need there are there's some extra information in this question but ultimately we be, we're being asked for where's the adverse crown rem removed located on this curve and what's the cross slope at station 50. On these types of problems, it's important that we start with a drawing to make sure we understand what we're given and what we're looking for. So we're starting with our TS point, that's the tangent to spiral, and that's station 43 plus 12.66. We have a super elevation runoff of 230 feet, that's the length of our spiral transition. Next, we have our spiral to curve points. We're adding that 230 feet to our TS to get the SC station of 45 plus 42.66. Now we need to solve for our length of circular curve. To do that, we've got to start with our theta sub s. That's the portion of the angle that the spiral takes up. So that's 230 times 4.8 over 200 gives us a theta sub s of 5.52 degrees. We need to multiply that by 2 and subtract that from the overall intersecting angle to find the delta for the circular curve portion, delta sub c, and that's 16.36 degrees. Now we can use that to find our length of our circular curve, 100 times 16.36 degrees divided by 4.8 degrees gives us a length of our circular arc of 340.83 feet. So we're going to add 340.83 to our SC point to find our CS point. So that is 48 plus 83.49. And finally, the super elevation runoff, the length of the spiral gets added to our CS point to find our ST point of station 51 plus 13.49. So the first part of the problem is asking for adverse crown removed, and that's points B and G on the diagram here that correspond to our TS and ST stations. So our points are 43 plus 12.66, and that was actually a given, and our ST 51 plus 13.49. Now we're asked to find the cross slope at station 50. So we're going to need to know a little bit more information here. We need to know the, the length of our tangent run out, and that's our normal crown divided by our su design super elevation multiplied by our super elevation runoff. So that's 2 divided by 5 times 230 feet, which is 92 feet. And so that happens at several portions on our diagram here. So we can add those in. And this is just helping us locate where we are on this on our profile for our inside and outside lanes for our cross slope so station 50 is get now going to be between points e and f and we know that because station 50 is more than 92 feet from our st more than 92 feet before point g so it has to be somewhere on the slope shown here it isn't necessarily precisely located in this diagram but we know we're between e and f now we're going to look for our similar triangles so the large triangle is going to be 230 feet on the base by 5% for our Y. So we're solving for Y here. The X value for our similar triangle is 113.49 feet. So we can solve this and we're going to find a cross slope of 2.47% across both lanes for station 50. And that's the answer, answer to this second part, 2.47% all sloped for both the inside and outside lanes. 